My name's Simon Whitaker, and I have a couple of job titles. My first is CEO of Vertical Structure, a local Belfast-based cybersecurity consultancy. And I'm also chair of the Northern Ireland Cybersecurity Cluster Steering Committee. Hi, uh, my name is Victoria Logan. I'm a cybersecurity awareness and communication specialist for Allstate Northern Ireland. So my name is Peter Leach, and I'm the independent chair of the Northern Ireland Cyber Steering Group. My name is Lorraine McCaffrey and I'm the head of the Northern Ireland Cybersecurity Centre. I'm Sandra Scott Hayward and I'm the Senior Lecturer in Network Security at Queen's University in Belfast and I'm also Director of the Academic Centre of Excellence in Cybersecurity Education at Queen's. Administrations and um, organisations cannot deliver cybersecurity in isolation. So it's absolutely pivotal, the collaboration between the NCSC and the Northern Ireland Cybersecurity Centre um, to deliver strong and consistent cybersecurity messaging and awareness, and also to deliver best practice um, tools and services to support you know, government, um, industry and academia to um, securing a very much uh, an open, digital, resilient uh, future. I think the crucial aspect of government, academia and industry collaboration for cyber resilience is really around the idea of uh, the different elements that each part brings. Um, so if I sort of make a simplification of it, you could say that the, the government angle brings the public services, the policy aspects and obviously the wider community to the table. Um, then industry brings the um, uh, kind of common co existing uh, security technologies and helps to promote those and, and spread those around uh, the marketplace uh, for, for existing use. And then the academic part really brings in sort of the future uh, research-based uh, cybersecurity solutions um, based on, on, the, on the concept of the, of the different research that's being done. Um, and also, I suppose, the, the information and the knowledge sharing, the knowledge development from that space. So bringing them all together is really crucial. I've had the pleasure of working on the Cyber First Skills and Colleges program for the last four years. And uh, one of the key highlights for me has been working on the Cyber First Girls competition, which we host annually at our office in Allstate. It's been uh, wonderful to see the progression of many girls being introduced to a career in cybersecurity and then pursuing that interest um, further down the, the pipeline of talent and working with continued uh, Cyber First courses as they journey um, to uh, an early career in the field. There are also some incredible opportunities for research here in Northern Ireland. If we look at both the Ulster University and, and specifically Queen's, uh, Queen's have the Centre for Secure Information Technology just down the road there, and they're doing some absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, they've got PhDs uh, who are researching the future of cybersecurity. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a fascinating and interesting time when those, uh, those uh, papers are published over the course of the next few years. So I think in a way we're a fast follower, but we're also a bit of an influencer. Because we're tight-knit and quite small and geographically, we can actually work very closely together. I think we're quite innovative as well. And I think although Northern Ireland folk are very quiet about themselves, we actually do quite a good job. I always think that cybersecurity conferences are a really good opportunity to meet people who are doing similar things. I want to learn from people who are coming over to, to, to share what they, they're doing. I want to meet some of the uh, interesting public sector and government organisations who are doing things very much outside of our field. I want to see what's happening in the world of uh, cybersecurity generally. And this is what I hope Cyber UK is going to bring to the, to the table. I, I want it to, to, to raise our, all of our collective knowledge here in Northern Ireland. So what I hope to get out of Cyber UK is the fact that you are bringing together experts from across different industries so I'll get a chance to hear what they have to say about where cyber is at currently and how it's moving forward but I also like the fact that we've got speakers coming from local communities um, that gives us a chance to showcase what we can do in Northern Ireland as well. Um, my main message would be um, that first of all we're very proud and we're very privileged to host um, Cyber UK, an event of this scale and uh, prestige. Um, I'm very much uh, looking forward to embracing the engagement opportunities that uh, this event will provide and um, to celebrate the success by um, um, and in building on that success through achieving a, um, a lasting legacy. 
Well, I think for anybody uh, planning to attend Cyber UK, I would have to recommend you invest in a really comfortable pair of shoes. Um, I expect it's going to be a really busy couple of days.